The top software engineering graduates in London are earning over £240,000 straight out of university. And it's not just one company paying these rates. Multiple high frequency trading and big tech companies are offering graduates total compensation packages worth over £150,000. Compare this to the average London software engineer across all experience levels who's earning £58,000. In this video, we'll take a look at how software engineering pay in London is distributed and answer the million dollar question. What can you expect to earn as a software engineer in London? Let's take a look at pay distribution. For the ease of comparison, let's consider entry level slash graduate software engineers. I came across this great blog post recently by Gerge Orisus, sorry for the mispronunciation, and I'd recommend checking it out after this video for a deeper dive into what I'm going to talk about. Essentially, the model suggests that compensation in London is split into three distinct groups. Group one, these companies have lots of jobs available, but the pay isn't insanely high. They're basically only competing with other local companies in the same industry. For example, Tesco pays around 37,000 for entry-level engineering jobs, but they're only really benchmarking against other supermarkets like Sainsbury's, which are paying 38,000. Tesco knows that they can get the right talent by just paying the average or slightly above average of what other supermarkets are paying. They don't need to worry about competing with big shots like Google or Meta, who are obviously paying a lot more. And you'll find that this trend applies to other industries too, like telecoms and real estate. For these companies, technology typically isn't at the heart of their business and is usually treated as a cost center, so they don't pay as much for it. But on the upside, this means that there are usually more jobs available since they can afford to hire more people. Group two is where the pay starts to increase. These companies are competing for talent against all local companies, no matter what industry they're in. So for example, American Express paying around 44,000 aren't only competing with MasterCard or Visa. They're checking out what other companies like Factset or Expedia are paying too. These businesses rely more on technology, so they're willing to invest more to find the right talent. To get the engineers they need, they know they have to pay more than the companies in Group 1. So the compensation is typically higher, but there might not be as many jobs available. Typically, this is also when a significant part of your compensation will be in the form of a bonus or equity anywhere from around 5 to 20% of base salary. The exact percentage will usually depend on a mixture of how well you perform and how well the company performs. Group three. Now this is where the compensation can reach crazy levels. We're talking anywhere from 60K to a whopping 200K. These companies are going all out and competing with every company in the world to get the best engineers out there. Technology is at the heart of what they do and is their core product. The companies in this group are usually big tech names like Google, Meta, Netflix, Apple, Amazon, or trading companies like Jane Street, Hudson River Trading, or Two Sigma. Take Google, for example. Their entry-level engineers make around 110,000. Google looks to benchmark against companies like Meta, who pay around 96,000, or Hudson River Trading, who pay up to a jaw-dropping 245,000. The total pay within these companies is typically made up of a base salary and a significant cash bonus or equity package. Usually the higher the compensation, the fewer job positions there are and the tougher it is to get in. So what can you expect to earn as a software engineer in London? It depends. In all seriousness, it really depends on what type of company you work for and your experience level. Let's consider an entry level position again and try to come up with some estimates. Based on data taken from levels.fyi and Glassdoor, for group one companies, you're looking at an average of about 25 to 40,000 pounds. For group two companies, you're looking at anywhere from 40 to 65,000 pounds. For group three companies, it's a lot harder to come up with an accurate estimate. The range is so wide and the data points are a lot harder to come by, but you're looking at anywhere from around 80 up to 250,000 pounds in some cases. Again, these are just estimates based on publicly available data. Naturally, some salaries will fall outside of these ranges, but I think this should give you a good guide as to what the market is like. What does this all mean for the average software engineer in London? To be completely honest, on a practical level, not a lot. You probably already knew that big tech and high frequency trading companies pay the most. What this model does do is provide a framework for people to better understand their own salary relative to the market. For example, I think there's a misconception on social media that all entry level software engineers are earning outlandish sums of money. I certainly thought so too a few years ago but it's really only a small handful of companies that pay this amount. I think it's important for engineers to have realistic expectations about their salary growth, especially junior engineers and those just starting to consider technology as a career choice. And this model helps with that. I think this model helps with understanding the bigger picture and seeing what companies pay what and why. That's my short little monologue over. What do you think? It'll be great to hear your thoughts in the comments below.